the five dangers that could create a potentially negative experience with essential oils and understanding those, kind of internalizing them and checking out some of the links I have in the description will help. So what are the top five essential oil dangers that everybody and their mama should know about? Well, we're gonna cover that today, so let's do it. All right, let's talk about the number one mistake to avoid, and that is essential oils are generally safe. Hey, that's the good news but can be irritating or cause problems when used in the wrong ways. So if something happens, it's most likely due to user error. Hey, okay, just keeping it real. There is to a lesser degree because, you know, they, they apply too much of essential oil, the wrong spot or a sensitive area, you know, like open orifices, eyes, private areas, underarms, places where it can go in your body and not feel good. Yeah. I'm speaking from personal experience. I mean, I have a friend that Here's what you want to do. You want to dilute with a carrier oil when applying topically to the skin. That's one way to help with that. Now there's lots of other ways to make sure you have a positive experience, which I cover with my clients, but we just going to keep moving on to other mistakes you can avoid as well. Okay, the number two danger and mistake to avoid is to make sure you practice essential oil safety, and it's important to use essential oils in the appropriate way. So essential oils may be applied on the skin, so dermal topical application, uh, inhaled or breathed in, as well as taken internally, but the best application depends on the specific oil or plant type as well as the brand. And then you can also add frequency, location of the body, and if you're gonna dilute with either, if you're taking internally with water, or if you're gonna dilute with a carrier oil, and then the age of the individual, because if it's a, a child, they you know under six, then they can't take it internally, or it's not recommended. There's a lot of stuff. It can be overwhelming, but I know with my clients, I offer a reference guide, a wellness consult, lots of YouTube videos, <laughs> and phone support and tech support and email support. So there's lots of ways that you can basically, you know, get a hold of the ropes. Or if you still are unsure, you know, you can reach out, boom, there you go, get pointed in the right direction. So there you go. <laughs> All right, so the number three danger to avoid or mistake to avoid is certain essential oils should not be used by pregnant or nursing women and people with sensitive skin. That includes infants or babies, children or the elderly, and citrus oils may increase sensitivity to sunlight and cause irritation due to the mucous membranes or create photosensitivity. So caution should be taken. And that is very important to consider. <laughs> so you have the dilution side of things, what we previously mentioned with danger number two. But number three is like, you know, depending on what status a woman is in, pregnancy stage or what age, again, like the age factor kind of comes in as well. So that's important to consider. All right, so the number four mistake to avoid is it's possible for essential oils to interact with medications or over-the-counter drugs. So it's best to consult with a healthcare professional if you have any safety concerns regarding medication interactions. It's also best to get a second or even a third opinion from a licensed professional such as a naturopath, homeopath, or chiropractor, or and or chiropractor. So that way you got your MD, right, that you get your information from. Then you also get those other specialized healthcare professionals as well so that you can compare notes and really make the most educated decision when it comes to your health, especially if you're concerned with how your over-the-counter or prescription drugs are going to interact with the essential oils. That is just a rule of thumb, consult a healthcare professional and multiple ideally. Yes, it costs more time, yes, it costs more money, but your health is worth it, right? Your body is the only home you have to live in, so don't sell yourself short. Right? I, I like saying that to realtors, but applies to everyone. Your body is like a home, and it's so important that, you know, if you basically get new roof, plumbing, electrician work, or whatever, like you go to Yelp, or you go to Angie's List, and you look at reviews, and you get multiple price quotes, and you make phone calls, and stuff like that, that's for your home, that's worth 100, 200, 300, 400, 500,000, a million dollars. Your body is worth so much, it's priceless. So why not get multiple opinions, multiple reviews, and if you start to see a pattern of, yeah, go with this person, go with this person, go with this person, then that's a good sign. Maybe you should give them a call, get a price quote, and go with that person, at least for a consultation, bare minimum, and then figure out what their recommendations are on next steps. So it's worth the time. It's worth your, your, your body and your health is worth it. All right, so the fifth danger and mistake to avoid is the International Fragrance Association has banned certain essential oils because they have been found to be toxic when ingested or applied topically. And these banned oils that are deemed unsafe include Cade Oil, Crude Costas Root, Elecampane, Fig Leaf Absolute, Horseradish, Nightshade, 
Pennyroyal Rue Sassafras. Sassafras, getting all sassy with me. Savin, Southernwood, Stinging Nettle, Styrax Gum, Tea Absolute, and then finally Worm Seed or Wormwood. And so these are oils that are not recommended for topical or internal, and it's best to just avoid them for health benefit use, period. And that's kind of a, a watch out, right? And if you, you know, companies know that, but it's still good for you to be an educated consumer on that. So if you see that in the ingredients or you see that as a standalone product, you can, it can throw up maybe some red flags or maybe you can reference this video or that list and be like, okay, what's up with that? <laughs> and start asking some, you know, some questions and do your own research. Well, that's it. That's the five mistakes to avoid, the five dangers that could create a potentially negative experience with essential oils and understanding those, kind of internalizing them and checking out some of the links I have in the description will help you become an educated consumer or continue to help you make educated decisions with your health and wellness so you can maximize your quality of life and ideally reduce some of your costs as well and look to the essential oils to become a replacement cost not an additional cost in your life because you are swapping out things of toxic synthetic and moving more towards the natural, safe, and effective. And that's it for today's video. Make sure to hit the like button if you did. Hit subscribe for future video updates. And check out the links, again, in the description below so you can continue to get your learn on and, and learn more about other dangers or other mistakes that you could avoid for yourself, your family, or your loved ones. And I'll see you in the next video.